Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokona Man at YouTube with a, another vlog and this is not my piece of paper. There we go. i uh, got a lot going on and I have made a few mentions in my last Q&A session. Uh, I am working on quite a big 3D printing project at the moment. As you may have noticed of the uh, sudden and constant uh, 3D printing content that's slowly appearing on my channel. I'll just give a bit of a rundown of uh, what I'm aiming to do for the next uh, three, six months with this uh, channel. Other big projects, events and uh, whatnot. So the big project, Model Expo, Gunpla Builders World Cup Australia, the Gunpla Builders Australia group builds, another group build. Um, other public appearances that I'll be uh, making, some of them with uh, Ghost of Zero, Zion, and um, just other uh, bits and bobs. I do have a big 3D printing project. I'm uh, working on something that has never been done before. I am more or less fabricating an entire model kit uh, via CAD software, printing it out, assembling it, treating it, cleaning it up and we'll be using it and displaying it. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it is going to be successful or not. Um, I'm not going to be making promises. I've withheld work in progress uh, videos and photos for now. A few close people have been privy to the information and been giving me bits of feedback. Uh, regardless what happens when it's complete and shown, it will be shown uh, here. Uh, there will be exclusive uh, work in progress and review content regarding the building process, modeling process, all that. Uh, because I'm working on all of that, there's a few other things that's occurring in my uh, life. Uh, in between working my two jobs, I am looking at purchasing a house and a new car. So uh, I'm working a few more hours. I'm uh, budgeting a bit more, so there'll be a little less uh, fluid cash going through uh, the hobby and models. Not that I'm already uh, well stocked with um, a fair amount of models to build and lots and lots of supplies. So that's not going to affect things uh, too much at all whatsoever. Uh, Though um, content might be a bit sparse for a few months. Um, the process of making a video here is, let's say we're talking about building a model kit, a tank, a Gundam, a tutorial, whatever. From when I open the box and start working on it, taking photos and video footage to when it's finished. Um, all the uh, content, every time I take a photo, I take a bit of video, I upload it to a folder on my computer. Uh, titled uh, whatever the project name is and I keep adding content as I'm working as I'm posting work in progress pictures on uh, the Facebook another important thing to follow my kind of man on Facebook you can see what I'm actively working on immediately even though I'm not um, putting too much content on there uh, right now once the project has been finished photos have been taken a video of it uh, spinning on the little uh, turntable it's all uh, compiled once a week, I uh, sit down in front of my website, uh, my computer. I uh, edit it all together in Windows Movie Maker. I add a commentary via a microphone there and then. Uh, pretty much uh, save it, render it, whatever it needs, and upload it to be posted around noon Monday. So. This is a process that I've been working on for many, many years and a process and software and whatnot has been working. I've been posting one video minimum a week for like seven, eight years now. Uh, the process works very well, but again, from when it gets opened to when it's finally posted on YouTube, it could take between three to six months, even though I'm working on many kits at once. Uh, sometimes some projects are made just really quickly as a fun mental build, slap together, paint it, have a laugh. It's up here in no time for an interesting uh, review like a tank or a tutorial. Other projects could be a lot more uh, labor intensive, uh, harder to do, time, effort invested, and they could uh, take um, a lot longer in effort. Uh, again, with this really, really big project, I'm not too sure how to uh, release it to you guys yet. So uh, just be mindful of that. 
because I still want to release a video once a week and kits that I've built in the past and recently is starting to dry up and running out of videos to edit and post online and um, I'm not doing too much honing your airbrush skills or whatever I haven't caught up on the scratch building series yet I want to do a short series on lecture style videos where I sit down and just uh, talk on um, subjects and give information and insights on the uh, hobby that other YouTubers may not have exactly attack yet and information that has not been documented before from the point of view of a uh, modeler who's been uh, floating around for a good part of 10 to 15 years. So I'm thinking of um, just doing short 10 maybe longer minute videos on uh, critique or entering competitions uh, how to conduct yourself in a community with the aim of improving your uh, modeling just things it's taken many many years to figure out and work out where um, I could just share that uh, insight so if that works out to be fairly uh, popular that might be a new segment that I might do every now and then when things uh, get a bit short so it's just going to be experimental I know my Q&A sessions are quite popular you guys are very interested in asking me questions and hearing insight and feedback and uh, concepts that I have about uh, modifying or building or opinions on uh, the hobby. It is not going to be a staple of the uh, channel. I want to uh, avoid it. I don't want to just throw out tedious content such as uh, unboxings or opinions or uh, just mindless uh, snapping reviews. I would like to very keep it exclusively to uh, modeling content as well as documenting uh, events and the community at large. So I look forward to that lecture series and uh, we'll see how we go. I've done some of them in the past regarding you know glue theory, paint theory, uh, airbrush theory, all that sort of stuff. So um, I'll uh, make one, upload it, um, give me feedback if it's good, keep going. If it's terrible, we will stop it so there's nothing to be fearful. Uh, a public event next month, June 11th to 13th, the Australian Open Model Expo hosted by the IPMS and other Australian clubs in conjunction. As it's been documented on this channel for a long time, I will be attending it as always for the three days behind the Mecca Workshop table and maybe the Gunpla Builders Australia table. Ghost of Xeon is confirmed of uh, being there. Many big names in the Australian and Melbourne modelling scene will be there, including a good proportion members of Mecca Workshop members. All of our work will be on display in the competition and club tables. It is an event that's always very worthwhile uh, checking out and attending. Something like $10 a day or $20 for a weekend pass if you wish to contribute. I highly recommend rocking up on uh, the Friday afternoon, Saturday morning, entering a minimum of one kit for about $5. This gives you a free uh, weekend pass and it's just cheaper to attend. On the Monday morning there is a swap sell. Uh, normally some very old, very interesting, great bargains can be uh, swapped up. It's uh, an amazing experience. Uh, there's always lots and lots of models on the tables, uh, competitions, club displays, people to talk to, demonstrations, vendors. It's nothing like an anime con. It's uh, a completely different experience. If you've never been one before, highly recommend it. If you're in another state of Australia um, and it's uh, you've got enough uh, time or notice, you know, come stay in Melbourne for um, a night or two. Uh, drive down, take a train down, check it out. I'll put the link in the description below about uh, what's going on. At the same time, more of you who are privy and interested in anime pop culture games, Oz Comic Con is in town at uh, the Melbourne Exhibition Centre, I think. Uh, Mecca Workshop is going to be in attendance there, though I will not be there. There will be a free Gundam model workshop where kits will be given away under the uh, Gunpla Builders Australia banner. There will be one at Model Expo, it's more targeted towards kids. So if you're there cosplaying, buying anime goods, doing whatever, say hi to the Mecha Workshop members uh, for me. Enjoy a kit, see the kits on display. Um, we should have um, Patrick and Rantaya uh, running the table on respected days. So that is worth checking out if Model Expo is not your thing. 
Gunpla Builders Australia group on Facebook is hosting a group build. Their group builds are probably some of the biggest you will find on the internet. They host a few a year. The prize pool is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the prizes are offered to residents of Australia. If you are not an Australian resident, it is very worthwhile uh, watching the builds and uh, contributing or uh, building something along with everyone else. The community is tightly uh, knit. It's uh, a lot of fun. There's some great modifications of uh, tanks. Uh, being smashed together around 35th scale with um, all sorts of different Gundam Zaku uh, variants. I'm not too sure about my participation yet, but uh, very worthwhile having a look at. They've gotten an event page all run by the ghost of Xeon. A new group started by YouTube's Harry Houdini. Uh, he has a great uh, YouTube channel on uh, tanks and planes and older kits and whatnot. Fantastic attitude. Very, very uh, entertaining. It's called Fokker Rivet Counters. Uh, Fokker as in the World War II uh, German aircraft. A nice play on uh, words. Lovely community. It's uh, very, very friendly. Not a lot of prejudice or bias. You can post your work and just have a lot of fun, depending or no matter what modeling genre from Wargaming Gundam aircraft tanks. So you can see some very interesting things. Not too concerned about historical accuracy or whatnot. It's all about supporting and giving each other appropriate feedback and growing in the hobby, but just focusing more on the fun and slightly silly side of it. They are having a wonderful group build with prizes focused on um, neglected abandoned builds. If you've built something not quite finished, put it aside. The older it is, the crappier the model, the kit, and the more vintage the model's been, the longer it's been sitting on the shelf. Uh, depending on how you finish it and how wacky and interesting you go with it is giving you more chances of uh, winning. So uh, if you go for a crazy scheme, a crazy concept, it's an old terrible model like a crappy airfix or an Ari kit or something, you've abandoned it for anywhere between two to five years or up to months, uh, it's a very fun community, it's known people across the internet getting together, just having a good time, standing against the bad behaviour we're seeing across our Facebook and other social networks and how sometimes modelers can carry on. So that is very worthwhile checking out. In the description below, a link to the Facebook group. Uh, August 2021st is the Australian uh, Gunpla Builders World Cup and... Um, Sydney Smash, Smash the Anime Con. Uh, registration should be opening fairly soon if you want to register, want to know more about uh, the Gunpla Builders World Cup. The Gunpla Builders Australia group is for you. If you're interested to enter and you've never entered before, I have uh, documented in great detail the event itself, my opinion, how to enter, as well as a few builds I've done for that. So have a hunt around my YouTube channel. <clears throat> you can ask down below. Well, I've got extensive uh, experience from uh, the first time the events ever started in Australia, as well as the experience of everyone in Gunpla Builders Australia. I will be attending the event in uh, person, hanging out, and uh, soon to be confirmed to do a live uh, demonstration talk. I uh, haven't uh, been confirmed on what the talk is about yet, or if I'm actually scheduled to do it. Uh, it has not been confirmed, but maybe, just maybe, Bandai's uh, Master Kawaguchi could be attending. Uh, more information on that soon. Again, that will be announced on uh, my Facebook page as well as Gunpla Builders Australia. It will be amazing if he does come for a second uh, year in a row, but he did seem to have had a lot of fun last time. The week after that, uh, public events, uh, Animanga. Uh, whenever a week is after uh, the Gunpla Builders World Cup, Melbourne, uh, the Melbourne Showgrounds. This is going to probably be the biggest anime event in Melbourne. We're going to be running a very large Bandai Hobby Co sponsored workshop under the Gunpla Builders Australia and Mecha Workshop name. This event is spearheaded by myself, Ghost of Xeon and many other people. It should be a ton of fun. Uh, we're going to have airbrushing, 3D printing, models, 
free giveaways and a very very large model kit competition that is very friendly for beginners and people who are new to modeling and competing so if you're interested in gunpla builders world cups or model expos you've never entered in the competition before you want to try it without um, embarrassing yourself or being scared we're very friendly I'm happy to help you out in person uh, come and enter the competition very very supportive it is very beginner uh, orientated, a lot of the experienced guys display but do not enter. So it's a lot of fun, very worth checking, very worthwhile checking out. Uh, there'll be a large model kit display. Sorry, I've got a print going on and I'm just having a look at it. Uh, I don't want it to fail. So that's just another event. In other news, uh, a group that myself and a few friends have founded on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Old Gumpla Forums is approaching a thousand members. It was a group that what originally started off as a joke and the gripe has gotten somewhere. If you're not a part of a Facebook group or a bit skeptical of modeling communities on social media, it's worth checking out. It's pretty cool. There's some great modelers for people to follow, ask questions and uh, interact with the hobby. Great starting point. If you generally have any questions about the hobby, it's a great place to do research and interact uh, with all sorts of uh, individuals, a lot of names on the member list. Back to the McConaughey channel. As there is a lot of things going on, I am designing a series of t-shirts. A lot of modelers and YouTubers are doing these crazy t-shirt campaigns where they just got, you know, a name written on the t-shirt and expect to sell it for you for 20 bucks to fundraise money or whatever. Um, I want to get on the bandwagon. I, I don't really care too much about the money. I just want to have some really rad t-shirts. I, I love owning and displaying cool t-shirts. So I've got three designs in the works. I've shown one of the designs among my personal friends and uh, they're all um, quite excited about it. Uh, they're very cool. Some of them either are uh, communist industrial art or uh, just very interesting handmade um, artist inspired uh, concepts. So these are the sort of things that you could wear in a trendy manner and go to a party or be seen in uh, public and go, this is one of my favourite t-shirts, it's just a really cool rad t-shirt to be seen wearing and people go up to you and go, hey man, cool t-shirt. <laughs> so I, I just love wearing fun t-shirts and I find all over the place and people do approach you if you wear a very, very cool t-shirt. So I'm um, going to have a t-shirt campaign very, very shortly. A lot of them are either designed by myself or an artist friend that I know very well where they've done something around a concept that I've wanted. It'll have my kind of man written on it. They're going to be more of the humorous or modeling side of things. So there are modeling themed t-shirts. Uh, the first design that will be released is playing on the People Liberation Army of China logo. It's a star with a character in the inside saying a number or whatever. I swapped it around. It's a big star. It's got a picture of yellow-handed nippers in it. It's going to say Makana Man. It's just, it's just really, really, really stellar. I'm super excited about it. More so of wearing it and just seeing uh, people in it than uh, anything else. I do intend on making it as cheap as humanly possible with the quality of lasting for a very long time. So you'll be buying more so a quality t-shirt than lining my pockets. It's just, you know, leaving a bit of a um, legacy. The start to finish tutorial, something I've announced a long time ago, modified and intend to do after the Gunpla Builders World Cup that will be started. I don't care how or why. I'll probably start with a tank and uh, do something else. It is uh, definitely um, on the cards. I really want to do it. I think it's going to be very, very helpful. I was meant to do it earlier, but um, work and stuff got in the way. I've just worked on projects. I had very little time for modeling, but I'm just getting into some sorts of uh, discipline thing. Um, I don't play video games, I barely watch TV, the few hours that I do have that's not socialising, drinking or getting up to some sort of strange shenanigan, I'll sit in the studio and you know do 20 minutes here, a few hours there, I listen to uh, some really crazy talk back radio while just pumping out whatever I'm doing, documenting it, turning it into videos, so um, I'm working quite hard but uh, I am definitely getting there and that is a project that really needs to happen and it will happen shortly this is side by side with the scratch build series uh the mock man competition i think was not too well received it might have been complicated might have been ambiguous i've made it 
ambiguous on purpose. Uh, the concept with every competition I make is contributing to the comp to the community. It's always been a way of um, show some work or show your work studio, talk about a product that you like, make a tutorial, something that can be posted on the internet and other people will see on social media or whatever and go, ah, oh, I've learned something or that paint is good or that's how you use said product. Uh, this time I talked about inspiration, so it could be a work in progress, a finished model, a tutorial, a post, whatever, something that's made by you that inspires people to build. The prize is an airbrush. Uh, it is a way to, if you're a modeler, you've uh, got a social media, you've got a group, you've got something, you want to promote that, it's a way of getting your name out there, or at least a free airbrush. Uh, get in on that. If uh, there's still further no interest, I might sort of make it a lot easier where you leave a comment and share the YouTube channel or something on Facebook just to go in the draw to win it and some uh, random side will uh, win it. So no matter what happens, an airbrush will be given away. I don't care if there's interest or not. YouTube is always changing. Competitions were a big thing far in the past. I have not seen anyone do a competition on the YouTube channel under a million um, subscribers except for Harry Houdini but that was more of a Facebook thing and I think uh, that sort of wraps up everything that's uh, happening in the studio my life the YouTube channel uh, I do love this channel I sat down with a friend who's an expert in uh, media TV uh, editing and uh, TV shows and he's uh, watching a bit of my channel and sat me down and I uh, just said you know think of this think of that uh, you could grow your channel, whatever. Uh, I did say that um, channel is something I always work on. At some point in my life, I might do more, I might do less. I don't know. We'll continue with it. I do enjoy a lot what I do here. It's probably something I've worked on the hardest and longest in my life besides uh, school. So uh, we'll see what the future holds. I will uh, keep at it. Again, very interactive. You've got suggestions, ideas, questions, criticisms. You like my beard, you hate my beard, uh, whatever. PhD man-child, low on time. No idea what the hell I'm going to do with him. I've got like 10 alcohol-fueled crazy videos from Japan that I need to edit upload and post up there. They're hilarious. They're awesome. Uh, there's a few things I want to do there. What I'm probably going to try to do is rig it so I can just uh, do a quick crappy webcam post straight to Facebook thing. It is a function on my channel. Uh, a while ago, and I did mention, I tried to do live streaming. Uh, it failed miserably. I just do not have the equipment to do it efficiently over uh, Wi-Fi. I don't have a computer hooked up to... Um, my internet that can be easily accessible in the studio while I work and do a commentary. Uh, it is very, very sad. I wish um, I could do something. I'm going to have a friend or some people come over, uh, overhaul uh, the equipment I have and uh, see what sort of options we have to make it a thing or a reality. Uh, maybe once I'm moved into uh, my own joint or new property, uh, the property can be set up where that could actually be a permanent feature and the house is built around the channel, the lifestyle, uh, the whole uh, concept. So it could be something in the very, very, very far future. Right now, not really possible. I'm just uh, running at the seat of my pants. But uh, again, we will see. Thank you very much for your support, your viewership, your patronage, everything. I do uh, appreciate it. I also do help um, and appreciate the people who communicate to me via private message or Facebook. Uh, it's a lot of fun and we will see how we carry on. Catch you guys next time. Stay tuned.